relate to the Hanover Messe Trade Fair because people have reported sightings of the Industry 4.0 Phantom, also known as the Internet of Everything or Industrial IP or Industrial Internet. And our mission is to find out if this Phantom is real, if we can see it in Hanover, and what it all means to you. This is uh, Hannover Messe 2014. Siemens shows its understanding about uh, the future of manufacturing and industry for We believe that there will be three main elements uh, where the uh, industry will develop to. One is uh, um, the network of manufacturing, which goes across nations, across uh, company borders. Um, we see uh, fusion of the real and virtual world coming uh, with a digital shadow or a twin uh, in the systems. We believe that cyber-physical systems will take over much higher importance in uh, our factories. Uh, we believe that this production network uh, should be developed with a, a really strong manufacturing operation management uh, that we are developing. We believe that this uh, Merge the fusion of virtual and real world uh, has a real good uh, basis in the Siemens Digital Enterprise Platform. The Digital Enterprise Platform <laughs> contains uh, these uh, shadows, these uh, virtual models uh, of the system, uh, and we uh, believe that uh, uh, the cyber physical systems will really uh, get uh, importance as soon as uh, it's possible to realize uh, plug and play into a uh, plug and produce integration. What we also need is, uh, see is that we need to have uh, IT security for this new world. Uh, that's the reason why Siemens has announced that this is a massive a partnership uh, with McAfee, uh, company of Intel Security, and we uh, will show first products uh, for IT security in the industrial world, uh, uh, first common products uh, end of uh, summer. is smart bridge the smart bridge concept um, of pepper and fuchs is uh, in terms of industrial 4.0 that we will get a bridge a bridging system between the physical uh, layer of the machine on the one hand to bridge it to the virtual layer of the internet and the, the data infrastructure so with a smart bridge Smart Bridge as a product is linked into the normal, into a normal wire between the sensor on one hand and the micro microcontroller system on the other hand, and we can get out data via Bluetooth and see these data on a certain, on a certain um, tablet PC, for example, or a smartphone. Hey, hello, my name is Kevin Davenport. I'm a business development manager here at Cisco, and I'm at the Hanover Fair in the Smart Factory booth. So what is Smart Factory and how does it translate to Industry 4.0? Well, we're evolving into the internet of everything, uh, where sensors, people, processes, and things come together. Well, Industry 4.0 is around taking those technologies and having business relevance for the manufacturing line. How to scale it, how to uh, make it transferable, uh, and drive business results throughout the entire manufacturing organization. So Industry 4.0 is around business objectives and value. How do we create value from these new paradigms around the Internet of Everything?
I just want to tell you a little, about, a little bit about Industry 4.0 and what you as a user of industrial field bus systems, easily based field bus systems, can do to prepare yourself for this topic. The first um, recommendation of our organization is to be prepared in directions of automation security means care about this topic, check your plants, your machines about this topic because security is one major aspect in all scenarios of Industry 4.0. We are at the Hanover Messe. Um, we're on the uh, AS Interface booth here because we have a partnership now, a cooperation with the uh, AS Interface organization. And what we're showing here is how CC Link can be combined with the AS Interface network. So um, what you have here is a CC Link network. This um, is connecting your more sophisticated devices together, so like robots, HMIs, inverters, and so on. And then you've got your lower level devices down here at the bottom, your push buttons, switchers, and other simpler devices. And these are being linked to CC Link by um, some of our partner products here, like for example, Gateways from Beal and Wiedemann and Papel and Fuchs, who are partners both of AS Interface and CC Link. And um, this is providing a cost-effective way for you to link your simple devices to your more complex devices. And of course, this also helps you um, develop solutions for things like Industry 4.0, because this is showing you how you can extend a transparent hierarchy of network communication from a fairly high level down to a fairly low level. Since 20 years, Backoff as a PC-based control company uh, enables customers to directly communicate out of the controller into IT systems, databases, uh, read data, push data and so on. But of course, with Industry 4.0, we need a more international standard. We need interoperability between different systems. So I'm really proud that also Backoff is pushing these international standards, for example, OPC UA. But I'm more proud to even provide a so-called SOA PLC, a service-orientated uh, PLC, where customers uh, can create a function log inside the PLC just mark it as public available via UA namespace to the outside world. Which means somebody with a UA client on a different operating system can call and provide functions, can call a function in the PLC, provide input parameters, wait on the execution of the function block. The function block is providing outputs and with just one call in summary, this is a very future orientated uh, communication out of the box. And again, back of customers are enabled to make use of this extremely early. The machine is intelligent enough to um, decide whether this uh, DNOL can be produced or not. Maybe some modules are missing, and maybe I need some laser printing device, uh, device and I don't have it here. Then the machine tells me, no, I cannot do it. I need a laser printer, but that's not the case. So, starting a job is simply doing, uh, done by selecting a job and giving a start. Now the rail is taken and the uh, terminal blocks which are in the magazines are mounted automatically. The um, beam rail comes out of the machine and we come across this uh, RFID reader. This ID reader scans the um, job number and shows us it's an assistance system how the marking on the um, terminal block should look alike. And here the printer already printed the uh, text for the sides. So now this terminal block is ready to be mounted on the cabinet. And uh, to get the information where it should be mounted, we can read the RFID chip, which is done with this device, and we can see it should be mounted in cabinet 3, row number 4 at the company SUMS. Hello, we are back from Hannover Messe. These have been busy days, but it certainly was worth it. We have seen that Industry 4.0 is not a phantom, it is something real. We have seen lots of the 
elements and enabling technologies behind it and we are now sure it's something that will change the way we run manufacturing operations. We have also seen what you can do to be prepared for this next industrial revolution. First of all, build a strong future-proof network communication system all the way from the field level sensors actuators up to the enterprise level to ensure smooth data communication. Second very important, cyber security. Make sure that you have strong cyber security procedures in place. Industry 4.0 is about more data exchange, more data flow, which means more risk of cyber attacks. And third, keep reading Industrial Ethernet book to stay up to date on the latest news and developments for Industry 4.0.